Seven signs you're ready for dog ownership. Number one, I have time to treat my dog. Bringing home a dog is a commitment of time and patience. Whether is it a puppy or an adult dog, you'll have to teach him how to cohibit with humans, which includes potty training, socializing with children or other pets, and which items are theirs and which items are yours. Other than training your dog, you also have to get them the exercise they need. Number two, the dog fits my lifestyle. Before you get a dog, think about your exercise routine, your age, and generally how the dog is going to fit your lifestyle. For example, single apartment dwellers should think twice before acquiring an energetic dog and never get a dog for your child unless you want one yourself. Parents should be prepared to take on all dog care duties since youngsters don't always keep their promises, especially after a week of bringing home the cute puppy. Choosing the right dog for your lifestyle is important to the success of your dog ownership. Number three, my wallet is ready. The cost of owning a dog in Singapore ranges from 18,000 to 20,000 for 10 years. The cost varies depending on whether they were adopted from a shelter or were they purchased from pet stores. The grooming services they undergo per year, the type of food they eat, vet visits, and more. Adopting is always the cheaper option and the dogs are usually vaccinated or already microchipped. Number four, I am ready to commit to my dog for their whole life. When you welcome a new pet into your home, you are making a commitment to take care of it for the rest of its life. A dog may be by your side for the next 10, 12, or 15 years through illness, health, good times and bad times. If you're not ready for this, it's time to think twice before getting a dog. Pay a visit to your dog owner friends and understand more about their experience in dog ownership. Number five, everyone at home is on board. Other than dog proofing your living space, planning ahead with your family about your dog is important, where roles and responsibilities need to be established before bringing your new family member home. Discuss with everyone how the care and training responsibilities will be shared. Consistency is key from the beginning, be it feeding routines, indoor or outdoor potty training, or daily walk routines. 6. My living space allows dogs. Many apartments and condominiums have restrictions on the size of dogs that residents are allowed to have, and some do not allow pets at all. For Singapore's context, those staying in HDB flats are only allowed one dog of a toy breed or crossbreed. The maximum size is for it to stand at 40 centimeters at shoulders and weighs 10 kilograms or less. Only one dog per flat is allowed. Keep in mind the dog breeds banned in Singapore as well. Seven, I've studied and understood the responsibilities of dog ownership. Being educated on dog ownership will make your life and your dog's life so much easier when your new companion comes home. Give yourself plenty of time to research the proper nutrition, potential hazards at home, your local vets and dog behaviour professionals. It will definitely pay off. So remember, sensible and responsible dog ownership is key in reducing dog abandonments in Singapore.